This is our final in-ground section. This is grains and brassicas. Now, there's no reason why I grew grains with brassicas except that that's just where I had the space. And I actually was not going to grow brassicas this year. Brassicas is, of course, um, Brussels sprouts, which there's two there and there's two inside the netting. Cabbage, which is the, down the rest of that row. Cauliflower and broccoli. That's what these guys are. We've tried to grow those in pots and they did not work. And I got very discouraged last year with growing them in pots. And I said I was not going to grow brassicas again. And then I was at the garden center because of all of my seed starters that didn't work. I needed to get something and they had their brassicas on sale because it was a little late in the season to plant them. And I said, what the heck? I've got two rows with nothing in it. And I'm glad I got them. I think the sun is not cooperating, but there are heads on all of this broccoli. I think you can see that one. That's my biggest one. And I probably need to cut that actually this weekend. There's a head there and there's a head there. And there are tiny heads in my cauliflower, but because of the netting crunching up the leaves, we can't see them right now. I'd have to take the netting off and I probably will this weekend just to see what's going on in there. I have had to pull all the netting off a couple of times to get weeds out and to get bugs off of the leaves. Now, this netting is not official garden netting. It's just tool from Joanne's Fabric or wherever you get fabric. But, uh, so it's keeping the moths off, but it's not keeping the smaller things off. It did have an explosion of aphids in there. I had to go through and clean off all of the bottom leaves. Um, there are other little insects in there. There's actually praying mantises that live in there. So it's quite the ecosystem. And so far they seem to be really thriving under the netting, even though it is getting a little tight for some of them. And some of them are, are going to need to be pulled back. But they're doing so much better than these two. I didn't have space for them in the netting. And there's all these black spots that are not, that's not what I want to see. I don't think these Brussels sprouts are going to be edible because I think something's getting in there. There could be eggs in there. I really can't tell at this point, but we'll see. This is an experiment unnetted versus netted. 